Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back, or if you're new, hey girl, hey. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my full face makeup routine for dry skin. I have very dry skin for all my makeup girlies. The very first step to have flawless makeup is skincare. Skincare must be absolutely flawless. I like to use skincare by Good Molecules. I absolutely love their brand and all their products are amazing. Okay, so my skincare is already done, obviously. We're gonna go right in with foundation. I recommend you guys go in with either a cream or liquid consistency. I don't recommend any powders. Definitely go for a cream or a liquid just because that's gonna be more wet on your skin, hence more moisture. And you definitely wanna choose something that has either a glowy or a natural radiant finish something in between there I wouldn't recommend anything matte that tends to be a little bit more drying and if you already have dry skin and you're using a dry foundation it just it doesn't work I'm gonna go in with this elf camo hydrating CC cream this one is in the shade light 240 warm I absolutely love this product I use it as my foundation every day it just has such a pretty dewy finish to it and it honestly it's full coverage at least in my opinion also I recommend you guys blend that in with a damp beauty blender this helps the product stay wet a little bit longer which helps to moisturize you get the point and it's also less tugging and pulling on the skin it feels nicer it's more refreshing there are just way more benefits to using a beauty blender than there are a brush that's why I absolutely love this CC cream like look at how glowy and dewy that looks and it's full coverage baby up next we're gonna go in with blush I definitely recommend for dry skin you use a liquid blush that's what I go in with I'm gonna use my elf camo liquid blush this one is in the shade coral crush and again I just love a liquid because it's so much less tugging at the skin it gives you more blending time and it keeps the product wet if you will it's definitely more moisturizing than if you go in with a powder or even some cream blushes I know are a lot more tugging to the skin and this one just blends in so easily. It gives that dewy look, keeps the skin moisturizing. It's just perfect. And I meant to blend this in with the different side of this beauty sponge, but it's working. So. Definitely liquid products is what I would go for if you have dry skin. At least for me, that's what's worked and has continued to work. Guys, this pimple has been riding with me for a few days now. I got it right after a camping trip I went on, so I'm pretty sure it's from like being unsanitary and all that look at how beautiful that cream blush blended and i absolutely love it this is my favorite ever since i purchased it up next we're going to go in and contour the skin again we're going in with a liquid bronzer this one is the elf halo glow beauty wand this one is in the shade light medium and i absolutely love this product i have been contouring my skin i'm literally running out of it but I have been contouring my skin with this product since I purchased it. It's just so good. Again, any liquid product is going to be less tugging at your skin, less damage, all that good stuff. And of course, I blend that in with the beauty sponge. It's just so much easier. And I normally do this before I apply my blush, but I forgot today. But it just blends in so easily. It doesn't dry out the skin. It's just so good. And liquid products are definitely more comfortable on the skin as well. Up next, for concealer i'm using this essence keep me covered concealer this one is in the shade shell and we're just gonna start applying that like we normally would this concealer is a cream consistency but it definitely feels a little bit more on the liquid side it's so thin super easy to work with and it is medium coverage super creamy i absolutely love it it doesn't dry out my under eyes it keeps them feeling moisturized and comfortable throughout the day this has been my go-to i absolutely love it and it's affordable and of course we're going to keep blending in with a beauty sponge i'm going to start off with the nose and we're going to blend in the under eyes blends in super easily as always all of my go-to products blend in super easily I don't mess around with the tugging at the skin. I wouldn't say it's the most full coverage. Like I mentioned, this is a medium coverage concealer. It is buildable, but I feel like with one layer, I'm good to go. I absolutely love it. It definitely makes up for it, and it's just it's that good. For my dry skin girlies, you can definitely go ahead and leave this as it is. But of course, we don't want this makeup to move around throughout the day, so we're going to go in and set it. This is where you have to start being really careful what products you go in with because powders can be matte, they can be dewy, they can be natural, they can be so many things and one of those things is drying to the skin. Those translucent matte powders will dry you out for days, let me tell you. 
tell you. So you have to be really careful what powder you go for. For me, the one that's been working for a long time is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I think technically this is a matte finish. It might be natural matte, but honestly it gives me a natural finish and I love it. It's It does not dry me out. I had definitely used powders before where like I can't even move my face. This powder is not one of those powders. This powder is super comfortable, lasts all day, and it's just so good. And this is just the most affordable that I could find that does a great job at doing everything I needed to do, but of course, there are other powders you can find that do the same thing as well that are a little bit more high-end. And we're setting the under eyes, the smile lines, the forehead, the nose, and we're also gonna go in and set the rest of the face very lightly. Just because, like I said, I don't want this makeup to move around today. And even though I set my whole face with this powder, it still doesn't feel dry or uncomfortable at all. It's super comfortable and I stand by this powder. Up next, the complexion is almost done. We're gonna go back in and Add some powder blush bronzer and some highlights as needed if you don't feel like you need it and you think this looks great then good for you I feel like for me I could definitely like leave this look as is and it's absolutely stunning flawless and gorgeous but I feel like I want to go in with a little bit more um, love if you will so I'm gonna go in and take some powder bronzer I'm gonna take the house labs Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. This one is in the shade Medium Level 7. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more to the cheeks. I absolutely love this bronzer. I feel like the shade is perfect and I feel like I can use this in the summer and in the winter. It shows up in both shades, honey. Definitely don't wanna go in with anything that has a matte finish. Again, definitely go for those natural, velvety, soft matte even or like dewy bronzers definitely nothing matte because that will feel you'll feel a little bit more dried out this is a velvet bronzer and i feel like it's very minimal coverage so this is very light on the skin so i definitely recommend this one for my dry skin girlies then for some blush we're gonna go in with this wet n wild color icon in the shade keep it peachy i'm not sure what kind of finish technically this blush has but for me it's kind of like satiny if you will it's definitely not dewy but I don't think it's matte it's not uncomfortable and it just feels really really nice I love that peachy undertone that it gives me and I just love to fill in like my inner cheeks and like my upper cheekbones with this and now for some highlight I'm going in with this Wet n Wild holiday foxtrot highlight in the shade soft rose gold this kind of serves as like a blush and a highlighter it's kind of like a two-in-one for me but today I'm just using it as my highlight and we're just gonna add it right up in here and obviously for highlight you get a little bit more freedom because you're just adding a little bit and I've never heard of a matte highlight so you're pretty much good to go with any highlight you choose now for the lips obviously this is for dry skin girlies not everyone who has dry skin has dry lips but I do so before you go in with your favorite lip combo like I'm about to do definitely make sure to add chapstick or lip balm whatever you use to keep your lips moisturized I personally just use chapstick it works for me and definitely make sure to apply that before you add your lip combo and if you have dry lips I definitely don't recommend you go in with any matte lip products obviously I'm gonna use this lip liner by Morganite this is a creamy lip liner it's not matte at all it's very creamy it glides on so easily to my lips and then I'm going in with my Full Fantasy Lipstick. This one is in the shade Mara. This does have a little bit more of a matte finish, but we're just adding that onto the center. I just love the color, but we are not done yet. Over top of that, I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. We're just gonna add that right in the center. Now for the very last step, a moisturizing setting spray is crucial. You definitely don't want to go in with something that is going to like mattify your skin. You definitely want to go in with something that says hydrating, glowy, dewy, something of that nature. For me, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. 
I have had this for a long time. This is actually the second bottle that I started. Never really came around to finishing it because I found other good ones. But this is definitely one of my go-to all the time. So let's go ahead and spritz that on. Okay, you guys. So this is the final look. Let me know down below what you guys think. I hope you guys did enjoy this makeup routine for dry skin. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and a subscription before you go. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.